Hata X A A T kill X A A D A S kill X A A Y D A kill X A A D kill is the language of the Hata people, spoken in the Hata Gwai archipelago of the coast of Canada and on Prince of Wales Island in Alaska. An endangered language by a book put out by UNESCO, Hata currently has 14 native speakers, though revitalization efforts are underway. At the time of the European arrival at Haida Gwaii in 1774, it is estimated that Haida speakers numbered about 15,000. Epidemics soon led to a drastic reduction in the Haida population, which became limited to three villages, Masset, Skidgate, and Heidelberg. Positive attitudes towards assimilation combined with the ban on speaking Haida in residential schools led to a sharp decline in the use of the Haida language among the Haida people, and today almost all ethnic Haida use English to communicate. Classification of the Haida language is a matter of controversy, with some linguists placing it in the Na Dene language family and others arguing that it is a language isolate. Haida itself is split between northern and southern dialects, which differ primarily in phonology. The northern Haida dialects have developed pharyngeal consonants, typologically uncommon sounds which are also found in some of the nearby Salishan and Waukeshaan languages. The Haida sound system includes ejective consonants, glottalized sonorants, contrastive vowel length, and phonemic tone. The nature of tone differs between the dialects, and in Alaskan Haida it is primarily a pitch accent system. Syllabic laterals appear in all dialects of Haida, but are only phonemic in Skidgate Haida. Extra vowels which are not present in Haida words occur in nonsense words in Haida songs. There are a number of systems for writing Haida using the Latin alphabet, each of which represents the sounds of Haida differently. While Haida has nouns and verbs, it does not have adjectives and has few true adpositions. English adjectives translate into verbs in Haida, for example. Law to be good, and English prepositional phrases are usually expressed with Haida relational nouns, for instance Alaskan Haida Ditko. Side facing away from the beach, towards the woodses. Haida verbs are marked for tense, aspect, mood, and evidentiality, and person is marked by pronouns that are cliticized to the verb. Haida also has hundreds of classifiers. Haida has the rare direct inverse word order type, where both SOV and OSV words orders occur depending on the potency of the subject and object of the verb. Haida also has obligatory possession, where certain types of nouns cannot stand alone and require a possessor. History The first documented contact between the Haida and Europeans was in 1772, on Juan Pérez's exploratory voyage. At this time Haida's inhabited the Haida Gwai, Dal Island, and Prince of Wales Island. The pre-contact Haida population was about 15,000. The first smallpox epidemic came soon after initial contact, reducing the population to about 10,000 and depopulating a large portion of the Ninstance dialect area. The next epidemic came in 1862, causing the population to drop to 1,658. Venereal disease and tuberculosis further reduced the population to 588 by 1915. This dramatic decline led to the merger of villages, the final result being three Haida villages, Masset, merged 1876, Skidgate, merged 1879, and Heidelberg, merged 1911. In the 1830s a pidgin trade language based on Haida, known as Haida jargon, was used in the islands by speakers of English, Haida, Coast Shimshian, and Hyaltsik. The Fraser Canyon Gold Rush of 1858 led to a boom in the town of Victoria, and southern Haida began traveling there annually, mainly for the purpose of selling their women. For this the Haida used Chinook jargon. This contact with whites had a strong effect on the southern Haida, even as the northern Haida remained culturally conservative. For instance, Skidgate Haida were reported as dressing in the European fashion in 1866, while northern Haida were still wearing bearskins and blankets ten years later. In 1862, William Duncan, a British Anglican missionary stationed at Fort Simpson, took 50 Shimshian converts and created a new model community, Metlakatla. The new village was greatly successful, and throughout the northwest coast the attitude spread that abandoning tradition would pave the way for a better life. The Haida themselves invited missionaries to their community, the first arriving in 1876. These missionaries initially worked in the Haida language. 
The Rev. John Henry Keane translated the Book of Common Prayer into Haida, published in 1899 in London by the Missionary Society. The Book of Psalms as well as much of the New Testament would also be translated into Haida. However, negative attitudes towards the use of the Haida language were widespread among the Haida people, even in the fairly conservative village of Masset where Keane was located. In an 1894 letter, Keane wrote, These people would fain have their services etc. entirely in English. It has been by sheer determination that I now have the whole service except hymns and canticles in the vernacular. Beginning at the turn of the century, Haida began sending their children to residential schools. This practice was most widespread among the southern Haida, among the northern Haida it was practiced by the more progressive families. These schools strictly enforced a ban on the use of native languages, and played a major role in the decimation of native northwest coast languages. The practice of Haida families using English to address children spread in Masset in the 1930s, having already been practiced in Skidgate, the rationale being that this would aid the children in their school education. After this point few children were raised with Haida as a primary language. Status Today most Haidas do not speak the Haida language. The language is listed as critically endangered in UNESCO. S. Atlas of the World. S. Languages in Danger, with nearly all speakers elderly. As of 2003, most speakers of Haida are between 70 and 80 years of age, though they speak a considerably simplified form of Haida, and comprehension of the language is mostly limited to persons above the age of 50. The language is rarely used even among the remaining speakers and comprehenders. The Haida have a renewed interest in their traditional culture, and are now funding Haida language programs in schools in the three Haida communities, though these have been ineffectual. Haida classes are available in many Haida communities and can be taken at the University of Alaska Southeast in Juneau, Ketchikan, and Heidelberg. A Skidgate Haida language app is available for iPhone, based on a Bilingual dictionary and phrase collection comprised of words and phrases archived at the online Aboriginal language database firstvoices.com. In 2017 Kinjalit Productions was working on the first feature film to be acted entirely in Haida language, the actors had to be trained to pronounce the lines correctly. Classification Franz Boas first suggested that Haida might be genetically related to the Tlingit language in 1894, and linguist Edward Sapper included Haida in the Na Dene language family in 1915. This position was later supported by others, including Swanton, Pino, and Greenberg and Rulin. Today, however, many linguists regard Haida as a language isolate. This theory is not universally accepted, for example, Enrico 2004, argues that Haida does in fact belong to the Na Dene family, though early loanwords make the evidence problematic. A proposal linking Na Dene to the Yenisean family of central Siberia finds no evidence for including Haida. Dialects Haida has a major dialectal division between northern and southern dialects. Northern Haida is split into Alaskan or Kaigani Haida and Masset or North Graham Island Haida. Southern Haida was originally split into Skidgate Haida and Ninstance Haida, but Ninstance Haida is now extinct and is poorly documented. The dialects differ in phonology and to some extent vocabulary, however, they are grammatically mostly identical. Northern Haida is notable for its pharyngeal consonants. Pharyngeal consonants are rare among the world's languages, even in North America. They are an aerial feature of some languages in a small portion of Northwest America, in the Salishan and Waukeshaan languages as well as Haida. The pharyngeal consonants of Waukeshaan and Northern Haida are known to have developed recently. Phonology Consonants Carat 1 The plain stops are partially voiced in syllable initial position. Squared for some speakers, t occurs only at the beginning of syllables, while t s does not occur there, making them allophones of the same phoneme. Cubed in northern Haida, Masset Haida and Alaskan Haida, chi historically developed into h, with chi then being reintroduced by occasional borrowings from southern Haida, Tlingit, Shimshian, and Chinook jargon. 
The actual realization of the pharyngeal consonants, h, varies with dialect. In Masset Haida they are pharyngeal fricatives, h, whereas in the variety of Alaskan Haida spoken in Heidelberg they have been described as an epiglottal trill, and a trilled epiglottal affricate, or an epiglottal stop, respectively. In Alaskan Haida, all velar, uvular, and epiglottal consonants, as well as nlj, for some speakers, have rounded variants resulting from coalescence of clusters with with. Alaskan Haida also shows simplification of t to n when preceding an alveolar or postalveolar obstruent, and of sd to sl in Skidgate Haida, x has allophone h in syllable final position. Masset Haida phonology is complicated by various spreading processes caused by contiguous sonorants across morpheme boundaries, caused by loss of consonants in morpheme initial position. Vowels the high vowels I, I, U, U, may be realized as upper mid to high and include lax as well as tense values. The vowels are rare in Skidgate Haida. Only occurs in some interjections and borrowings, and only occurs in the two words tilao, five, and tilning, a clitic. In Masset Haida, and are both very common are involved in spreading and oblaut processes. Alaskan Haida has neither of these, but has a diphthong, a, introduced from contraction of low-toned, i, and, g, sequences, in Skidgate Haida some instances of the vowel, a, are on an underlying level unspecified for quality, Enrico, 2003, marks specified, a, with the symbol at. Unspecified, a, becomes, u, after, with, i, after, non-lateral, alveolar and palatal consonants, and syllabic, l, after lateral consonants. This does not exist in Masset Haida. A small class of Masset Haida words has a new vowel in place of this unspecified vowel which differs in quality from the vowel, a, th, is the short counterpart of a, and so can also be analyzed as a. Though quite variable in realization, it has an allophone, when occurring after uvular and epiglottal consonants. The sequences, ya, and, wa, tend towards, ash, and, for some speakers. A number of the contrasts between vowels, or sequences of vowels and the semivowels, j, and, with, are neutralized in certain positions. The short vowels do not contrast after the alveolar and postalveolar fricatives and affricates. Only one short vowel occurs in this position, in Alaskan Haida usually realized as e, but i when further followed by j, and u when followed by any rounded consonant. The contrasts of i with j, and u with p are neutralized when preceded by a velar, uvular, epiglottal consonant, as well as word initially before the glottal stop. No contrast exists between long high vowels and short high vowels followed by a semivowel. Thus, i is equivalent to ij, and u is equivalent to uw, moreover, y is also equivalent to uj, and ju to iw. After consonants other than velar, uvular, epiglottal, j, and, with are also neutralized to, i, and, u. Long vowels are shortened before syllable final glottal consonants, the high vowels, i, u, also before sonorant, nasal or approximant, consonants. Where productive, this is a late process that applies after the preceding neutralizations, so that e.g., q, wa, a, acute, j, the rock is realized as qwa acute j, not qua acute j. The vowels, a, and short, o, occur in nonsense syllables in Haida songs. Tone Haida features phonemic tone, the nature of which differs by dialect. The Canadian dialects Skidgate and Masset, have a tone system with low functional load. Unmarked heavy syllables those with long vowels or ending in sonorants have high pitch, and unmarked light syllables have low pitch, gid, id, dog, jin, in, sapwood. Examples of marked syllables include su, among, masset, k, a tiny, skid gate. In masset Haida marked low tone syllables are more common, resulting from elision of intervocalic consonants. Compare Skidgate 7 Axad to Masset 7 Odd Net. Some alternations may be interpreted as results of syllable parsing rather than marked tone. Compare Masset Q. Al, A, Q, Ala. Muskrag. To Q. Ala. Be suspicious of. Q ala, where, marks a syllable boundary, in Skidgate Haida, short vowels which do not have marked tone are phonetically lengthened when they are in a word-initial open syllable, thus Q and Q in. 
grass becomes kana qa grave na acute grassy in Masat Haida, marked low tone syllables have extra length, thus gin. Thing. Seven ah. Mother. In Kaigani the system is primarily one of pitch accent, with at most one syllable per word featuring high tone in most words, though there are some exceptions, e.g. guskok. Almost. And it is not always clear what should be considered an independent. Word. High tone syllables are usually heavy, having a long vowel or ending in a sonorant. Phonotactics The syllable template in Haida is C, 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 B, B, C, C. In Skidgate Haida, the two unaspirated stops, PT, can occur in the syllable coda, while none of the other unaspirated or aspirated stops can. In Masset Haida, the unaspirated stops and affricates which may be in the syllable coda are PTT, ST, K. In Alaskan Haida, PTT, ST, KK. Would be final, q, in loanwords may be nativized to zero, in skidgate heta a long syllabic lateral may appear in bb position, e.g. tl, so. Historically this developed from long e after a lateral consonant, but a few skidgate words retain e in this position, e.g. kaali, inside, liis, mountain goat wool. Syllabic resonants occur frequently in masset heta and occasionally in kaigani heta, but they are not present on the phonemic level. Orthography Several orthographies have been devised for writing Haida. The first alphabet was devised by the Alaska Native Language Center ANLC, for Kaigani Haida in 1972, based on Tlingit orthographic conventions, and is still in use. The linguist John Enrico created another orthography for Skidgate and Masset Haida which introduced seven and it as letters and did away with the distinction between upper and lower case, and this system is popular in Canada. Robert Bringhurst, for his publications on Haida literature, created an orthography without punctuation or numerals, and few apostrophes, and in 2008 the Skidgate Haida Immersion Program ship created another, which is the usual orthography used in Skidgate. Other systems have been used by isolated linguists. Haida consonants are represented as follows. In ANLC orthography CH is used for TS in syllable initial position, and a hyphen is used to distinguish consonant clusters from digraphs e.g. Quan Gang contains the sequence, N, followed by per gram, rather than the consonant. Bringhurst uses a raised dot for the same, Quan Gang. The Enrico orthography uses L, or LL when long, for the syllabic lateral in Skidgate Haida, e.g. TL. Enrico uses a period, for an unlinked consonant slot, rx are used for chi, in Enrico's Skidgate orthography since they generally correspond to t in the other dialects, the following are how heta vowels are written, Enrico, 2003, uses it for some instances of a based on morphophonemics. Alaskan heta also has a diphthong written a. Enrico and Stewart, 1996, use i diaresis ea diaresis for the vowels, a, that occur in nonsense syllables in songs. The Alaskan Haida orthography was updated in 2010 by Jordan Lackler. Grammar morphology The word classes in Haida are nouns, verbs, postpositions, demonstratives, quantifiers, adverbs, clitics, exclamations, replies, classifiers, and instrumentals. Unlike in English, adjectives and some words for people are expressed with verbs, e.g. jada, to be a woman, law, to be good. Haida morphology is mostly suffixing. Prefixation is only used to form complex verbs, made up of a nominal classifier or instrumental plus a bound root, for instance skidgate eskuacid pick up stick object and sisid pick up several small objects together with tongs, which share the root sid pick up. Infixation occurs with some stative verbs derived from classifiers, for instance the classifier 7 id plus the stative suffix a gaa becomes 7 yadga, the definite article is suffixed aay. Some speakers shorten this suffix to i or a. Some nouns, especially verbal nouns ending in long vowels and loan words, take gay instead, often accompanied by shortening or alighting preceding a. Haida also has a partitive article gyaa, referring to part of something or, to one or more objects of a given group or category, e.g. Talugya uu hal laalang. He is making a boat, a member of the category of boats. Partitive nouns are never definite, so the two articles never co occur. Personal pronouns occur in independent and clitic forms, which may each be in either agentive or objective form. First and second person pronouns also have separate singular and plural forms. 
The third person pronoun is only used for animates, though for possessional g lit. This one may be used, after relational nouns and prepositions wa lit. It that place, there is used instead. Short form used as bound possessive pronoun before dependent nouns and cliticized to intransitive verbs that take an objective argument, long form used as bound possessive pronoun before relational nouns and prepositions, and cliticized to transitive verbs, and is the object pronoun, while ang is the bound possessive pronoun, suffix to the noun or preposition it modifies. Number is not marked in most nouns, but is marked in certain cases in verbs. Relationship nouns do have a plural in with lang, or for many speakers lang, e.g. d chan. Lang. My grandfathers. A few verbs have suppletive plural forms, as in many other North American languages. In addition, Haida has a plural verb suffix ru, skidgate, minus seven wa, masset. Wa. U u kaigani, that is used to indicate that some third person pronoun in the sentence is plural, and to mark plural subject in imperatives. The third person pronoun that is pluralized can have any grammatical function, e.g. seen e. Langa hl da ruju 7 wa gan, I bought all their fish, masset. Most nouns referring to family relationships have special vocative forms, e.g. chana, Alaskan, chani, masset, grandfather. Haida uses so called relational nouns, referring to temporal and spatial relations in place of most prepositions or prepositional phrases in English. Many of these are formed with the suffix guu, or in Alaskan Haida more often kw. The updated orthography for Alaska Haida has changed the kw to gw. For example, Haida unk, ink, ank, surface likely comes from un, back, noun, and Alaskan Haida ditko, side facing away from the beach, towards the woods, comes from the noun, a, deet, away from the beach, place in the woods. These contrast with local nouns, which refer to localities and do not occur with possessive pronouns, e.g., a saw above, up. Some local nouns have an optional prefix a which does not have semantic value. Both relational and local nouns may take the aerial suffix sii to refer to the entire area rather than a particular location, so for example, wa ungkw means at some place, on its surface. While. Wa unksi means, its surface area. Haida has a small class of true postpositions, some of which may be suffixed to relational nouns. The Alaskan postpositions k, to, and street, from, skidgate ga, sda, fuse to the preceding word. The Alaskan postposition of k has been updated in the current Alaska Haida orthography to g. These also fuse with a preceding suffix kw to become gweek and gust. The updated orthography for Alaska Haida has changed the kw to gw. Some postpositions have forms beginning with g which are used in some common constructions without a preceding possessive pronoun, and translate into English as a pronoun plus it, e.g. ga hal gut. Anangang. He's thinking about it. With ga for a. To, et. Haida demonstratives are formed from the bases a close to speaker, who close to listener, wa away from both, and a hl something previously mentioned, which when used independently are place demonstratives. These may be given the following suffixes to create other demonstratives, jii singular object, sgaay plural objects, sd lu quantity or time, tl in place, tl. Das plural people, tsgwaa area, and kayan manner. Haida verbs have three basic forms, the present, the past, and the inferential forms. The past and inferential forms are both used to refer to events in the past, but differ in evidentiality. The inferential marks that the speaker was informed of or inferred the event rather than having experienced it personally. The bare present form refer to present tense events, while future is formed with the suffix sa, using a present form verb, e.g. hal kasang. He will go. The interrogative past form, made from the inferential form by removing final n, is used in place of both past and inferential forms in sentences with question words. There are four classes of verb stems. Habitual aspect uses the suffix gang in the present and inferential and g i i n i i in the past. 
Potential mood is marked with hang and hortative with the particle ts. In, in the same position as the tense suffixes. Imperatives are marked with the particle hl after the first phrase in the sentence, or hlaa after the verb word, the verb dropping final weak a if present, if there is no non-verbal phrase. Verbs are negated with the negative suffix. Ang, usually with the negative word gam. Not. In sentence head position. Verbs drop weak a before this suffix, e.g. gam hin hal east onging. He is not doing it that way. Haida uses instrumental prefixes, classificatory prefixes, and directional suffixes to derive verbs. Some verb stems, known as bound stems, must occur with at least one such affix, for example daa. Strike once. Requires an instrumental prefix. Haida has a large number of classifiers, on the order of 475. These have a limited number of rhyme structures, which relate to each other idiophonically. Numerals are generally treated as verbs in Haida, e.g. vidi gidaling sadanzangonging. I have eight children. Literally. My children are eight. For some types of objects, classificatory prefixes are used, e.g. sdlakw de la sang. Two land otters. DLA equals small animal or fish. Nouns and verbs that end in a vowel undergo glide formation if the final vowel is high or truncation otherwise before vowel initial prefixes. Some vowel initial suffixes cause nouns and verbs which are consonant final and polysyllabic to undergo final syllable shortening FSS. SK U high water plus AAY DF SK W A A Y Masset Street A foot plus ang own street Ang Skidgate K Ugansan Bladder plus ang own K Ugansanang Masset in Masset Haida final short vowels in polysyllabic verbs are lengthened in sentence final position compare Masset D I I G H L 7 I S D A A to Skidgate D I I G H L A 7 I S D A Give it to me. Syntax Hata clauses are verb final. SOV word order is always possible, while OSV may also be used when the subject is more potent than the object, thus Hata is a direct inverse language. For example, a human is more potent than a horse, which is more potent than a wagon. Thus the Masset Hata sentence yonk. E dot a n dash dot u u bill x a a y gu. La gang can only mean truly bill likes the dog. While yonk. E dot and dot u u x a a y bill gu. La gang can mean either truly the dog likes bill or truly bill likes the dog. The determinants of potency are complex and include. Acquaintance, social rank, humanness, animacy, number, and gender was also important at least in the two southern dialects. The following groups are listed in descending order of potency. Known single adult free humans, non-adult and or enslaved and or unknown and or grouped humans, non-human higher animals, inanimates and lower organisms, fish and lower. Grammatical definiteness does not affect potency, pronouns are placed adjacent to the verb and cliticized to it. Their internal order is object-subject, or in causatives object causi subject for example bill dii dowling escudang hal gone bill me you punch dash direct dot that dash pa. You told bill to punch me, bill told you to punch me. Potency is also relevant for pronoun ordering when one pronoun is less potent, for example the indefinite pronoun ga in. La ga 7 isda gan equals ga. La 7 isda gan. She took some. Sentences with nong. Someone. Or tl. Some people, as the subject may be translated as passive sentences in English, for example la tl. Kingan. He was seen by more than one person. Literally. Some people saw him. Clitic pronouns are used as complements of verbs, as inalienable possessives, with quantifiers, and in skidgate hata as the objects of some postpositions. Independent pronouns are used everywhere else. Agentive pronouns are marked and are only used as subjects of some verbs. 
Verbs taking adjective subjects are most common in the lexicon, about 69%, followed by those taking objective subjects, 29%, and those that may take either 2%. Intransitive verbs of inherent states, e.g., be old, take an objective subject, while most transitive verbs take adjective subjects, but cf. verbs like gula, like. With some verbs that may take either, there may be a semantic difference involved, e.g. guawa, masset, which means refuse, with agentive subject, but not want with objective subject. Enrico, 2003, argues that the agentive case indicates planning, thus hata is essentially an active state of language, though subject case is also variable in some transitive verbs, and clitics are placed after the first phrase in the sentence, usually a noun phrase, except with the imperative clitic hl, a, which follows a verb phrase. Independent pronouns are used instead of clitic pronouns when modified by a clitic, so for example hell nagiselgen, he got well, becomes l. A ah, Hans Nagiselgen, he also got well, when the clitic Hans. Also, too, is added. The enclitics uu and kw follow other enclitics, focus and less commonly topic are marked with the clitic, uu tilde h uu, placed after a sentence initial constituent, e.g. Bill, uu Mary Ching Gan, Skidgate, Bill saw Mary, Mary saw Bill, seven all seven Anis, uu, qaa gaa, hin, uu. Lakya, a gaa n. That one, he was called, qaa gaa. Question words always take this enclitic, for example gusu. What? Talaan uu. Where? Gisandu. When? There are multiple ways that Haida marks possession. Haida has obligatory possession, a common feature of native North American languages where certain nouns, in Haida, family relationship, body part, and relational nouns must occur with a possessor and cannot stand alone. For example, one can say da. My mother but not asterisk a, though one may use a circumlocution like nang awa, one who is a mother. These nouns are possessed using the bound objective pronouns, which all precede the noun except a, ain, one, s own, single quote dot. Included in the class of obligatorily possessed nouns are so-called, relational nouns, and postpositions, which generally translate to prepositions or prepositional phrases in English and refer to temporal and spatial relations. Relational nouns take some special third-person possessive pronouns. La. Wa. Tl. A rather than hal, al g, tl. E. G. Wa akali. Inside, it. Lit. Its interior. Non-obligatory possession nouns are possessed by putting them in definite form after the possessor, a noun or a bound objective pronoun, in partitive form, e.g. idle. Gyaa yachts. A. Our knife. An alternate construction when the possessor is a pronoun is to place an independent objective pronoun after the possessed noun, the latter in definite form, e.g. ni diana. My house. The independent objective pronouns also occur by themselves with possessive force, e.g. Diana. Mine. Examples Phrases in the Alaskan dialect Notes References Bibliography Enrico, John, Stewart, Wendy Bross, 1996. Northern Haida Songs. University of Nebraska Press. ISBN 0-8032-1816-8. Enrico, John, 2003. Haida Syntax. University of Nebraska Press. ISBN 0-8032-1822-2. Enrico, John, 2004. Toward Proto Nadine. Anthropological Linguistics. 46 3, 229 302. Lawrence, Irma. 1977. Hated Dictionary. Fairbanks, Alaska Native Language Center. Mithen, Marianne. 2001. The Languages of Native North America. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0521298756X.
Shoemaker, Peter K., Von Hagen, Bettina, Wolf, Edward C. 1997. The Rain Forests of Home, Profile of a North American Bioregion. Island Press. ISBN 1-55963-480-4. Other publications External links Haida language Listen to the sounds of Haida Skidgate Haida portal, first voices Raven, a story in the Haida language Haida writing systems Haida linguistics bibliography the Book of Common Prayer in Haida How to Count in Haida First Voices Haida iPhone app First Voices Haida Online Dictionary Haida Basic Lexicon at the Global Lexicostatistical Database ELAR Archive of Northern Masset, Haida Language Documentation Materials Dictionary of Alaska Haida Alaskan Hata Phrasebook